This is my priciest LEGO figure, and these are the rarest ones overall. They're crafted from aluminum, carrying a price tag of over $2 billion, and currently orbiting hundreds of millions of kilometers away from Earth. Here are the top 5 most expensive plastic figures. Well, who cares? You don't have any of these anyway. So in today's video, I'll be spotlighting the rarest LEGO minifigures from standard sets. Get your notepad and pen ready. Let's dive in. The City series was never known for pricey minifigs. Most of them clock in around $1 to $2. However, this doctor, likely due to detailed printing on the legs, is valued at approximately $20. Only the policeman exceeds that, coming in at $30. Despite its resemblance to cheap Chinese knockoffs, it's an official figure from a 2005 set, featuring a flashlight prosthetic in place of one hand. One of the Minecraft sets introduced a witch figure, previously exclusive to a single set. It's now priced at a whopping $17. However, this villager in white garb won't make another appearance, as it's based on outdated game design. In such condition, it's being offered for $60, but the Star Wars series takes the cake as the most expensive. But I won't keep you waiting. The priciest figure in the series is? I'll reveal that later. Let's talk about the Shadow ARF Trooper, featured in a 2011 poly bag and given away for free with certain purchases. It now commands a price of $350. Django Fett from a small slave eye set with an outdated helmet detail is valued at $400. Princess Leia from Tantive I-4 comes in at $450. Lando Calrissian, known as the first black minifigure, is priced at $500. Finch Dallow. Some of you might actually have this figure, as it appeared in a relatively affordable resistance bomber set. However, this only applies to the initial batch of sets, as subsequent ones replaced him with a white character. If you own this dark-skinned guy, know that it's worth $970. In Ninjago, things are a bit more conservative compared to Star Wars. Kilo is valued at $90 and takes the crown as not only the most expensive big figure, but the priciest overall. Fang Tom comes in second, asking for $60, despite appearing in a fairly inexpensive 2012 set. The first Overlord and Samukai are also in the $60-$70 range. The priciest Avatar figure? Hold on, ah, there we go. Aang. He's been around for 17 years and goes for $50. Following him is Sokka, at the same price point. The Pirates of the Caribbean series itself was quite high-end, so the figures in the lineup are, to say the least, not exactly cheap. Maccus is priced at $60, Angelica at $80, and Davy Jones at $150. Despite typically being reasonably priced, blind bags containing minifigures house some of the most expensive figures in history. Of course, the most renowned example is Mr. Gold, of which there are only 5,000 in existence. It wouldn't be surprising if one of the viewers of this video happened to have it. Presently, a mint condition minifigure costs $5,000. I rarely delve into the Duplo series on my channel, well, because who's really interested in that? Nevertheless, the rarest figure in this extensive series, which goes for $45, is Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. Interestingly, Winnie himself is priced just a few cents cheaper. Lord Voldemort, born in 2005, is considered the most valuable Harry Potter figure and isn't too pricey at $120. But if we're only considering modern sets released since 2018, it's even lower, $45 for Garrick Ollivander, which comes as part of a gift set. Yes, once again, it's complimentary. Next in line are Golden Hagrid and Dumbledore for $35. John Lennon from The Beatles can be snagged for $35. Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory goes for $30. The 11th Doctor from Doctor Who also sits at $30, while Vincent van Gogh is priced at $20. Among Indiana Jones figures, Molaram is the most sought after. They had actually planned to race sweet it in 2023, but had a change of heart. Otherwise, its price would have surely surged. As it stands, it remains within the $40 range, while Harrison Ford in costume goes for $30. You've probably seen at least one movie from the LEGO movie series. There are only four of them, and quite a few figures have been released based on the films. Unikitty, Queasy Kitty only appeared in the expensive Metal Beard's Sea Cow set and costs $40. Lord Business, with his enormous legs, is valued much more modestly at $35. Disco Batman can be purchased for $180, Nightwing goes for $75, and The Magnificent Bane for $88. Harley Quinn from the second Lego movie, which we all know is taken from Suicide Squad, is presid at $160. And in second place is Batman himself, but this time for $45. As for the most expensive figure from the Ninjago movie, it's no name. I checked, the character's name is Nancy, and she appeared in a not-so-expensive set with that name. Why she's at the top of the list, I don't know, but her figure is valued at $35 on the general market. After her is Angler for $30. And of course, Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. Grimma Wormtongue is the highest paid character from both themes, as he typically sells for $150. And at one time you could only get him by buying the Tower of Orthanc set. 
Aragorn in this attire is priced at $85, as is King Theoden. Mouth of Sauron is offered for $100, Saruman, Merry, Dane, Ironfoot, and Radagast are around $80, and of course, the Cave Troll, although it costs less than all the previous characters, is $70. Professor Brainstein from the relatively little-known Ultra Agent series, in its base configuration and excellent condition, can be purchased for $90. Twitch from Toy Story goes for $80, and Chief from the Ancient Rock Raider series goes for a whopping $450. The thing is, the latter only appeared in one pack. There are no more expensive figures in the series. There are a wild number of expensive figures in the superhero genre, but the reason for their high prices lies in their limited edition release at events. So these cases don't fit for today's video. If we're only considering regular figures, then at the top of DC's list will be, of course, the Joker, Heath Ledger version from 2014. He's priced at $95. Next is Reverse Flash, which surprisingly appeared in a fairly small set. The entire set had a price tag of $30 on the box. Batman in a similar outfit costs $60, and the Red Cowl with the tactical Batman costume is $45. Speaking of Marvel, the most expensive character among regular sets will be Tony Stark from the recent Hulkbuster set. The set itself is one of the largest sets in history. So if, for some reason, you dream of adding this maximally mediocre figure to your collection, you'll have to shell out $200. Next up is the Silver Centurion from the Polybag for $100, Iron Man statue for $95. Iron Patriot for $90, and Ronan the Accuser for $80. Velma from Scooby-Doo is priced higher than all the characters in this series, $120. The classic Black Spaceman from the Ancient Space sets costs $90. Kobe Bryant from the Los Angeles Lakers is $150, although he'd probably cost much more if he were a normal figure, and the Spider-Man from Sam Raimi's movie series is a whopping $130. The Demogorgon from Stranger Things rightfully asks for $60 and Dustin Henderson is priced just $5 cheaper, although all the other figures from the same set based on the series don't exceed $15. Quickie the Nesquik Bunny from Nesquik Gift Sets has a price tag of $100, largely due to the unique headgear and torso details with a huge letter N. Figures from old Technic sets almost all cost a pretty penny. These dudes are valued at $100, and this Cyber $90, and the most expensive figure from the Star Wars series is George Lucas, 